Welcome to Math Window. This is a very popular question. Solve this equation about x. One to the power of x is equal to two. Oh, it looks so simple and easy. Is it easy to solve? We don't know. Maybe you want to say this equation is false. It is wrong because one to the power of any number is equal to one. It cannot be equal to two, so it's wrong. However. I'm gonna say this equation does have solutions since x is the exponent. So we can take a natural log on the both sides, logarithms. So now the natural log is ln. The natural log of the left hand side is equal to the natural log of two. Okay, and then we can use a formula. The natural log of a to the power of b is equal to b times the natural log of a. This b can jump out from the bracket. It'll be here. This x as well. So it is equal to x then times the natural log of one is equal to the natural log of two. Okay, and then the next step we should do, of course, this is very important. That this one, this guy, the natural log of one is equal to zero. Ah, it is equal to zero, and any number times zero is equal to zero. It means x times zero is equal to zero. So what can we get? We can get the left hand side is zero, and the right hand side is the natural log of two. We know that the natural log of two is absolutely not equal to zero. So what does it mean? Zero is equal to the natural log of two. Oh my God! It is false. So. It cannot exist. So question, what can we get? Mm, you are gonna say, no solutions. However, that's wrong. Why? No solutions. This equation does have solutions, and it has many solutions. So if you say no solutions, it is wrong. So what should we say? Here, we only proved that this equation doesn't have any real solutions. So you can say that you can only say that this equation doesn't have any real solutions. That means no real solutions. However, we cannot say no solutions since we're gonna solve its complex solutions. Here, you can only say that no real Solutions. Okay, now we're gonna solve its complex solutions. For starting, we're gonna start with this formula, the Euler's formula. E to the power of i theta is equal to cosine of theta plus i times sine of theta. Theta is an angle. Look, now when theta is equal to zero, what can we get? Of course, the left hand side is the left hand side. It is equal to e to the power of i times zero. Is equal to cosine of zero and then plus i times sine of zero. And then you can get that this is equal to one. Since cosine of zero is one and sine of zero is zero. So this is equal to one. Now we get that 
e to the power of i times 0 is equal to 1. Okay, there's a period. The period is 2 pi. So what does it mean? It means that when x is equal to 2k pi, where k is an integer, the result is always 1. So theta is equal to 2 times k times pi. e to the power of i theta is also equal to 1. Since cosine of 2k pi is 1 and sine of 2k pi is equal to 0, so 1 plus 0 is 1. So it means that the general form is this. e to the power of i times 2k pi is equal to 1 because of the period. 1 to the power of x equals 2. And now, 1 is equal to e to the power of i times 2k pi. So, substitute this guy for here. Now, of course, this one is e to the power of i times 2k pi all to the power of x equals 2. Very good. And then, now, just like here, take a natural log on the both hand sides. And you can get the left side is the natural log of e to the power of i times 2k pi and then all to the power of x. The right hand side is the natural log of 2. a to the power of b all to the power of c is equal to a to the power of b times c. That means here a is e, b is i times 2k pi, and c is x. So that means it is equal to e to the power of i times 2k pi, then times x. So here is only the natural log of e to the power of i times 2k pi, then times x and is equal to natural log of 2. We have to solve for the value of x. Okay, by using this formula, the natural log of a to the power of b is equal to b times the natural log of a. So here, a is e, and b is this exponent, this huge exponent. It is equal to b times i times 2k pi times x and then times the natural log of e is equal to the natural log of 2. Now, a very, very important point. You have to memorize that natural log of e is equal to 1. So, the left hand side is only i times 2k pi times x. The right hand side, natural log of 2. So now you can see that x is here. What should we do? Of course, we should divide the both hand sides by i times 2k pi. So now, what is the value of x? x is equal to, the numerator is the natural log of 2, and the denominator is this thing, i times 2 k pi. However, this i is on the denominator. It is so ugly. An imaginary number on the numerator is very, very ugly. So what should we do? Of course, we can multiply the numerator and the denominator by i. So then, thus, the value of x can be solved very simply. That is, i times i is negative 1, so it is negative, here is i times the natural log of 2, and then divided by 2k pi. So here, note that k is an integer, and k is not equal to 0, non-zero integer. Don't forget to give a thumbs up. 
subscribe to me for more videos and we'll see you next time bye bye